Hi everybody, my name is Jens Larsen. Most great guitar players mix a lot of different techniques in the playing. And if that's the goal that we're working towards, then you probably also want to have that aspect already a part of how you practice your scales and practice your technique. So in this video, I'm going to go over some fairly basic scale exercises and talk about how you can use them to combine different kinds of techniques in terms of uh, alternate picking, legato and sweep picking or economy picking. For me, it's much more important to have these techniques available in my repertoire so that I can use them when I'm playing the music that I want to play and phrase it and get the sound that I want by using different kinds of techniques to help me do that. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar, improve the way that you solo or check out some interesting arpeggios or chord voicings, then subscribe to my channel. If you want to make sure not to miss anything, then click the little bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. The exercises that I'm going to go over in the rest of this video are my take on what works for my scale positions and my technique and my playing. And I think what you should take away from this video is not exactly what I'm playing as much as it is a way of working with combining different techniques and trying to find what works for the way that you play scales or other technical exercises and try and incorporate that into your practice routine. So this goes down all the way to also what kind of scale position we're playing here because I'm demonstrating everything on a three notes per string a C major scale position in the 8th fret, and that looks like this. Besides playing this all with alternate picking like I'm doing now, you can also mix this with legato, and there are two different ways that sort of are obvious with that. Uh, the first one is to just first pick two notes, so... and then hammer on. And that sounds like this. And of course the other one is to First pick a note, hammer on, and then pick the next note. And that will be this exercise. With these exercises, I am kind of assuming that you already have some abilities in terms of just playing with legato and playing uh, sweeping or economy picking. Because if you are combining alternate picking with other techniques, and you don't know how to really play them or execute them in time, it's probably not going to help your technique at all, and it's not really going to give you anything that you can put to use when you're playing music. You should notice that when I'm playing these exercises, then the legato sounds different than the alternate picking. You could argue that it would be more useful to just have it sound completely the same, and that no matter what technique you're using, you have exactly the same dynamics and you have exactly the same tone. But for me, I don't really think that that's the point or the goal here. I think the point is that even if it sounds different, then we try to use that because that's going to make it easier for us to get certain kinds of phrasing across. And that is definitely something you will find in a lot of jazz playing and jazz phrasing if you start checking out solos. This also means that we actually have to make some choices in terms of what techniques we're using to get certain sounds. You can see this already in fairly simple scale exercises. So let's have a look at playing the scale in thirds. With this exercise, we can try first to just use as much legato as possible, and then that will give us this exercise. When we play the exercise like that, then there is one place in the exercise where I have four notes on one string and I'm only picking the first one. So that's this part. And I find that it sounds much more natural to pick that last note, and then the exercise sounds like this. One of the places where you can really tell that we have different habits is with sweep picking. If we take a descending F major triad like this, C, A, F, then probably you'll find yourself in one camp when it comes to whether you want to play that as being down, up, up, or up, up, down. And there are just different habits, there are different things that fit well with your technique. It has to do with how you hold your pick, where your arm is positioned. There are all sorts of things that are going to influence it. And you have to be aware of that, and for the rest you just have to explore what works for you and how you can combine different things so that you can phrase in different ways. We can of course also combine sweep picking with legato, and that works really well in an exercise like this.
if you want to check out some more ideas for how you can practice your skills or your technique, then check out one of these videos with some of my suggestions. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar and this is the first time you see one of my videos, then subscribe to my channel. These are the kind of videos that I publish every week. And of course, if you want to help me keep making videos, then check out my Patreon page. That's about it for this week. Thank you for watching and until next week.